Hi guys, what is up? This is my first Alfleet review haul. My package only got here um, yesterday at about 4pm and because we live in Ireland it gets dark at 3pm so I feel like every single person is like this is my favourite launch every single time they launch but girl this is so this is so good so good. So the Alfleet Black Friday sale let me just look at the questions that I got. So what time is the Black Friday sale starting in Ireland? In Houston, right when clocks hit midnight, it will be live. Because of the time difference, it will be 6 a.m. GMT. So in Ireland and the UK, 6 a.m. Like Germany, 7 a.m. and you know, whatever. But it will be the morning of the 29th. So 6 a.m. 29th, set your alarms. Gonna be up really, really fucking early, but it will be worth it. Everything is between 10 and 80% off. You don't have prices and the prices could be released an hour before the launch, but that's never a guarantee. My predictions, I would imagine that the collection that I'm about to show you is gonna be discounted by like 10 to 20% max. I don't imagine that it's gonna be like the highest discounted because it's obviously new releases. But I imagine that the rest will be amazing. Black Friday last year, like fucking, it was so good. It was so, so good. And um, everything sold out in minutes. There's absolutely no point in making this intro seven hours long because we are all here for one reason and one reason. The very first product that we're gonna be talking about are the Aspire crop tops. Um, and they come in black, alpine, so that's like the forest green, charcoal, um, Volt, which is the bright green and red. I have three of these here and I will of course try them on for you. As you can see in the clip, I think they are a great lifestyle piece but you can definitely wear them to the gym as well. In terms of material, as I'm reading off the label, they are 90% rayon and 5% elastane. Elastane? Am I saying that correct? Um, Really, really soft, very, very breathable fabric. I imagine that they will be quite sweatproof and I don't think that you will get too hot wearing them in the gym. They're extremely basic, but I, I think they're gorgeous. Like they have the Alfleet logo on the side. Do you know, I love Alfleet for their minimal branding because there's absolutely nothing worse than a brand plastering their logo on every single item. Black one is probably my favorite just because I love black and I hate wearing color most of the time. But, um. I just think that you could wear it with jeans and a cute belt and a cute bag and cute shoes and you know you're ready to go. That's what I love about Alfleet is that you can actually wear their clothes outside of the gym as well and they look just as good. So even if you don't train, like the clothes are still bomb. Next product that I'm going to be talking about are the Aspire long sleeve tight tops. That's it. This is probably my 20th time trying to say the name. They come in five different colours again. I'm wearing it right now. This is the cinnamon. Oh, we've got charcoal, we've got steel blue, and we've got black. And I am just missing the alpine, so the forest green. Okay. The material is the exact same as the previous one, so it's quite breathable. You could wear it in and out of the gym. Me and Ryan are going for dinner tonight, and I genuinely think that this is what I will be wearing with jeans. And it will look cute. You can see they have the logo on the front. They have the little tie thing at the bottom, which you can tie. But if you don't like tying it, you can actually tuck it under your sports bra. It will also look really, really cute if you're not a fan of the dingly dang. The logo is like rubber. I don't imagine that it would come off, but as always, just follow the washing instructions on the label. Does anyone actually read the labels on how to wash things? Because I literally chug everything down into the same wash. And if it survives, it survives. And if it doesn't, then that's just my own fault, isn't it? Fabric and the style are honestly bomb. So if you are picking up any top from the launch, that's what I would go for. I don't know. I love I love a good long sleeve. And you know, it helps if it's cute and it will also keep you warm. And you will also be looking hella good. So that's it. Just to get all the tops out of the way and move on to the more important things like the camo leggings, which are absolutely phenomenal. I have four different tops, four different style tops, and I just have one of each, so I'm just gonna mash it up together. So first up, I have the Ultra Soft Tank in Hot Pink. I have it in black as well, but I think it's in the wash, but it's releasing in black and the pink. So they are very, very soft, but a different soft in these tops. It's like, 
kind of silky but um they honestly feel amazing and they look absolutely bomb with jeans and what i usually do is tie the front as well and they just look absolutely amazing and i normally don't even like the cut off uh, sleeves on me but with these tops because they're high neck i think they look a bit cooler and of course they have the logo on the back and um, just like at the base of your neck and um, first also wear a size small in every single thing that alfleet have released in this um haul just besides the hoodies next up is the oversized crop tee and it's the um the camo one wear a size small in this as well um it's not as soft but it's just your basic t-shirt material but it's not like do you know it's not like the softest thing in the world but um it's absolutely amazing and i love the gold detail against the camo i think it looks so cool like they really really smashed it the tops have released in the last launch and honestly they are my favorite tops to wear to college like i've been wearing them the entire time there's nothing much to say about it besides the fact that it's just really really pretty just get the ultra soft tie top out the way because it released so many times already and it's just coming back in black um the softest top ever the cutest top ever honestly like you can't go wrong there's not much to say about it because it's not a new product and you already know the gist of it anyway so we'll leave that off now next up and it's something that um it's a first time release and they've never done anything like it before and it's the surface crop hoodie um in black camo can i be honest i'm not a fan i don't know why but i honestly don't really like it personally i know other girls love it but it's just not something that i would ever wear if there was no hood i probably would be more inclined to wear it but i feel like it's a little bit silly with the hood and no sleeves it's like are we cold or are we warm but um the material is absolutely insane if you do want to get it it's like the same material as the surface leggings super soft and um, has a logo on the front and like um the rub the usual rubber so it won't come off has little slits on the shoulders and obviously the hood and it's cropped and it's camo and i just think for me there was just a bit too much going on in one top sorry that's just my honest opinion and i'm not gonna be sitting here lying to i hope i don't get in trouble for saying this next up we have the bras that are releasing oh here we go and I am so pleased to say that the Revival bras are making a comeback. If you have been following me for a while, you will know that I am not the biggest fan of the Vault bras. But, like, there's nothing really wrong with them. But they are just not my favourite Alfred bra. However, like, this colour is freaking insane. This colour, the green, I can't actually pronounce the name. I don't know, is it Vault? The Vault bra in colour, oh, I really don't know but it's honestly a gorgeous color so i will get over the fact that i'm not a huge fan of the bra but it's like it's not that i'm not a huge fan of it it's just that i think that they have better bras out there that i prefer over this there's nothing actually wrong with it it is really supportive though that's what i will say that if you have bigger boobies then you will probably like this bra it also has removable pads which is super super important but um that's the bra and of course the matching leggings um looks absolutely insane next up we have alfred's most aesthetically pleasing bra and it's the surface keyhole bra if you remember they released back in august i think in like different shades like red black and blue and all those different colors but it's coming back for the black friday launch in the camo i just think that if you are picking up one bra from the launch it should be this in terms of support i actually think it's quite supportive because it's not low cut it just has loads of cutout not like overly exposing or anything and it has the rubberized logo at the bottom on the band the band isn't too tight which i like because sometimes you know bras are loose around your chest and then they dig in this doesn't do that for me you cannot go wrong with this bra and i'm so weak for it so if you are picking up one bra and you are like stuck between them surface keyhole bra is the best option i think so next up we have the um, wrap bra and it's in the camo print as well i keep saying shade it's literally print a piece of material at the back which is like elastic which is like the neon green color i just think that like it's a cute little detail i'm um, a size small in this 
but I would probably go for a medium because my boobs are like like size 34 double D slash E kind of depends so I would probably size up I mean the material is the exact same it has the rubber lights logo the waistband isn't too tight I but I would probably myself size up a little bit just to have a little bit more coverage because it is more on the sexier side wouldn't really say that it's the most supportive bra out there but it's also completely fine I probably wouldn't be doing like my hit sessions and my jumping jacks in this bra but like for leg day or upper body day like you will honestly look absolutely banging so next up we have my favorite bra that alfred have ever ever launched and it's making a comeback the revival bra is honestly like it's my favorite bra ever and it's not even that pretty not as like aesthetically pleasing as the keyhole surface bra but it's just so comfortable man it's so comfortable like i wear this bra all the time it's so soft and it's just so easy to wear Do you know sometimes a company comes out with a bra that honestly takes you four hours to put on like this is just so different it's just so easy to wear so if you value comfort like me go for this one so it's coming back in four different colours and we've got black, red, nude and urban chic to match the new leggings. So I've got the nude, I've got the black um, and I've got the urban chic. It's crisscross at the back but it's still super cute. It's it's quite thin but it's also very supportive. The logo is like on the lining of the bra which I love. Once again I love Alfred for not plastering their logos all over their products um it's just like there's nothing much i can say about this bra other than the fact that it is the most comfortable bra ever hoodies haven't actually arrived to me in time but they are coming in three different colors there's a um, tactical crop hoodie in black white and the army color this is the army color but this is the men's one. Men's ones are the exact same just cropped I prefer men's hoodies anyway. I get them in a size medium or large. This one's a medium um, and they are just super soft. I just prefer them for cardio. I, I'm not a huge fan of cropped hoodies. Like they look cute and all but I don't I just prefer comfort over anything to be honest. But they are super super soft like fuzzy on the inside. I just know that they will keep you really really warm this winter. I get the joggers out the way because I don't actually have them. No, I have them, but I cannot find them. I think I must have left them on my mum's because I actually got them when Christian was filming Caroline's athlete video. I had them for about a month now. They're the premium joggers, so they're like the silky material. They're not like the cotton soft ones. And they have the neon um, thing at the side with the logo. They're honestly really cute, and I actually wore them a lot. But I just don't know where they are. If you are looking for a good jogger, that's a good one. And, you know, it's a little bit more fun with the little neon pop on the side. Fleet are also coming out with the Revival shorts, the R6 Revival shorts in Urban Chic. Um, I don't have them either, but I wear a size medium in the shorts. I just prefer, like, the length of the medium. Like, it doesn't make much of a difference to the waistband, I don't think. But I just prefer them a little bit longer. I prefer them to look like cycling shorts almost if that makes sense so we've got another short as well and these are the surface shorts in black camo and they have the little pockets on the side um this is a size small that i have on right now but i would size up to medium for the same reason that i size up in revivals i just prefer the length and um, as i said it won't make too much of a difference to the waistband and um, because they're super stretchy anyway it's compressive at all they are just like the exact same material all around but I love that about the shorts. Like they are super, super comfortable. And I can actually see myself wearing them around the house and stuff. Um, and I would probably train in them during the summer. It's a bit too cold at the moment. It's like minus 20 degrees. And they have their logo at the back. They are very flattering on the bum. As you can see, like the seam at the back is like curved inwards. Um, and there is minimal camel toe. I find that like over the past few launches, like Alfred have really really stepped up the game and got rid of the issue with the camel toe which is absolutely insane because you know I, as much as I don't care like we all have vaginas like no one should be shocked you still don't want it like wedged up there if you know what I mean it's literally so dark outside and it's it's 12 37 like welcome to Ireland like it gets dark here at 12 come to you wait 
the best pair of leggings Alfred have ever made. And honestly, if I could wear one pair of leggings for the rest of my life, these are the Surface Path leggings from Alfleet. They are absolutely destroyed. They are so dirty because I have had them for about a month now. So I've been wearing them all the time and I haven't even washed them yet. I'm, I'm so gross. I'm so sorry. I wear size small in them with the most flattering waistband ever. It honestly makes your waist look tiny. And they are so soft. Um, they have the logo on the back and the rubberized logo as always. Honestly, like this softness, I can't even get over them. I literally wear them all the time to the gym, to college. I wear them around the house. They are just so cute and they're not compressive at all, but they do make your bum look really nice. The way the waistband is structured, it's just so flattering. Honestly, the best leggings ever. Um, I don't think they're restocking any other colors. I think it's just a black camo, but I can imagine them selling out within literally minutes. So please grab a pair, honestly, like if you haven't tried them, grab a pair because you will be transformed like if you love halos revivals arrows they're all amazing but honestly nothing compares to these leggings they are also coming out in the surface pocket um leggings so basically they are the exact same they just have a straight waist and pockets on the side so it's basically like the shorts just long they're also really nice them in black and red and i wear them all the time super soft it's flattering i don't think because i just love the wrap effect on the waist but i don't have them with me so last but certainly not least we have the halos and the arrows in urban chic and the neon green the neon green only coming in the arrow style and i'm a size small in both but then the urban chic you have it in both halo and arrow so your the darker colors are coming up a little bit tighter not sure why like the black arrows and the black halos were a little less stretchy so i would size up in them they're not quite as bad as the black ones but they, they aren't as stretchy as like the hot pink or like the rutcher way but it's worth noting i wouldn't say that you have to size up in um the urban chic but if you get them, they are a little bit less stretchy, that's why. Like, they would still fit perfectly, but, you know, kind of have to say it just in case. So, I'm a size small in both. Well, obviously, the arrow have the little mesh on the side. Love, love, love. Like, come on, look at the brightness of the colour. Like, are you fucking weak? Um, and the logo is, as always, on the back. Um, the arrows are a little bit longer than the um, halo. Same as, like, last launch so i would have talked about it last time and then we've got the urban chic and we've got the halos honestly the halo are absolutely amazing like i think i would go for the halo in the urban chic and i feel like with the bra it would look absolutely amazing so guys that's it for the video i hope i answered most of your questions but if i haven't my dms are always open or i um, drop me a message in the comments um as always, thank you so much for using my code and my link. It helps me out a lot. Um, and that's it. And I hope you enjoyed the launch. And honestly, if you are stocking up for Christmas, this is the time to do it. I'll fleet literally never have sales. So do take advantage. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and give the video a like. And I will see you guys soon.